morning guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the 50 day challenge no. oh no oh no that went out the window weeks ago didn't it <laughs> but i tell you what we're really close now like really close i reckon another week two max and we are done i'm saying two weeks and the van actually looks a lot worse than it actually is as in like finished complete yeah. that's not what we wanted Rain! And you're just doing the painting! Ah. Get him in! Get him in! Get the awning out! Get the awning out! Oh, Quick. Quick! Where's the keys? loads actually because of the wind. Oh go back in, go back in! <laughs> <laughs> that'll do, that'll do, get the legs out. That rain cloud looks like it's blown over now so hopefully it won't be much. Yes, the weather is a little bit unpredictable at the moment and it's very, very windy. Hopefully it's going to be okay for the next couple of hours because Nick's outside doing sanding and painting and it's not very good in the rain. <laughs> So whilst Nick is outside painting and finishing off those overheads that we'll show you in just a moment when they are dry, I am finishing off the electrics. The very fiddly job. This is our um, six socket um, main kind of charging point, if you like, that will charge all of our drones and cameras and anything kind of USB or 12 volt. All of a sudden a big gust, the door slams, the awning splits. Nick's just about got his half painted overhead undercover. Grab the other overhead, throw it in the van. Little Charlie's running. You all right little one? It's not easy trying to do a van build in this crazy stormy weather. I tell you, the sunshine will be back in five minutes. A messy workshop this darling oh gosh I, I thought you it. said it were two, a week away you said a week away <gasps> the look at it the van is such a mess like seriously you have to watch every step just stuff everywhere but are you ready for this hopefully it's gonna blink in work so let me just switch it on and see if it works with double fuse and the same with everything in the van it's fuse there and fuse at the main kind of um, electric point so let's just switch that on Oh, oh, it's upside yes. down. Yeah, it's upside down. There we go. Nice. Where is it? Boy, is this just so exciting. As long as it works. Here we go. Little USB, get it in there. It's not that riveting stuff. It is! <laughs> Wait for her. Wait for her, guys. She'll be with you in a minute. It's charging! It's charging! Okay, so this is like the second time we've done this, third time we put the USBs in that corner and we put the USBs in that corner. So we were very, very excited the first time it happened, weren't we? Very excited. <laughs> Yourself, aren't you? I'm really pleased. I'm really, really pleased because the electrics are doing all the electrics and they're just, it's just all working. It's all working out. The solar's charging the battery, the battery's full, the things are charging the phones. It's just really exciting. Oh, and can you see what's going on above my head? We have lights. The lights are on. Shall we control them? Um, there we go, look. Brighter. Let's do that. There we go, colourful. It's a bit bright in here, but I think you can kind of make out. 
Let's have a pie. Press mode again, darling. Mode. Yeah. Oh, aren't they posh? So they're all working, and obviously we've got the two here, and we've got one more to put in there. But yeah, very, very happy. So I think we're almost ready. Very, very almost ready. Are we ready, love? Very, very almost. Very, very almost ready to show you the big thing. It's going to be a big trans transformation. But um, Nick's just finishing them off the other side of the camera and I am going to tidy up the van ready for them. will do just some last minute insulation in the door behind there and in there because we're going to put the the door cards back on in a minute to sort of finish off this whole section there's a window going in there um but this side we're keeping the the white laminate I need to just give that a clean but that's fine for now I might change that in the future so at the bottoms we're going to do that in a minute but first ready for the drum roll here we go Finally, the overhead cabinets are going in. The smallest one first. This is the test, the guinea pig. Just like that. How cool is that? They're not perfect, but they're not bad. They are very, very far from perfect. We're calling them uh, rustic with a slight... You can't tell they're crooked at all. <laughs> Slightly. <laughs> But um, again, it was like when we did the bed slats, um, we, we sort of put it into, we, we winged it basically, and then we put it, and what? I think that's actually gonna work. It actually looks all right. Uh, yeah, like Nick said, a bit crooked. We kind of measured this side, and it was like a centimetre different from that side. But it's kind of like what it looks like, and as long as it functions correctly, right? You look neat though, look at that. Yeah, okay, that's starting to look like a real camper van. Coffee machine, little clock that Sarah put in, the 12 volt. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get it up then. Let's get it up. I need the screwdriver. See, I know you guys are very jealous now and you're dying to know how we made these works of art. Um, well, as Sarah said, they're very rustic. Um, we thought we'd go with uh, like a 2.5 by 4 batten to create the frame at the front and then um, yeah and then just attach it to the van the best way to do that we found was batten along the ceiling and batten along the, the wall stuck in with rivets um, unfortunately the holes we were using for the rivets which were on the sort of cross sections going across the van there wasn't one at this end so this end isn't so supported so we are going to have to build a little bracket just in the doorway here um, but they're solid and then what we've done we've put the yeah four columns here we're gonna have three little doorways here haven't figured out the doorways yet haven't figured we've out all the dividers figured it out. we've talked about how we think we can do the little doors and stuff obviously we've got enough framework to to work with to put the hinges on um, and I'm sure they're going to be little rustic doors and rustic dividers or we might not bother with dividers and just chuck everything in there. I tell you this wasn't easy though because <laughs> it I wasn't mean easy. it's make because we're making using the rivets in the van we're making it really secure so it ain't going to go anywhere but then you're trying to drill holes in wood to line up with the rivets you've put in the van to try and get through the ceiling line those holes up you're trying to line all these holes up i think this is why a lot of people do the framing obviously mm. it's so much easier because then you can just go into the frame anywhere wherever. anywhere in the frame i mean it's quite good using the rivets and going straight to the metal of the van because you do gain the extra space because you haven't we haven't got all framework mm. behind everything but yeah i mean we've managed but it is a little bit tricky at times. But isn't every aspect of a van build tricky? Let's face it. Every single every aspect single you question bit. yourself. <laughs> whether you put frame, whether you use rivets, whether you build your own, I don't know, it's just all of it is very, very 
hard. See what you pro what pre what <laughs> What you probably notice with these overheads is they're quite lightweight. Now you're probably all going to go, that's not going to work, they're going to collapse. But we've only used 9mm on the sides and the, the base, the floor, is only 5mm. And as it's not that deep, I'm thinking it should be fine for weight. I mean, only time will tell, but... I think it's fine and you know at any one. point you can change it I mean it might might be a little bit difficult to change it that's fine anyway I mean what are we going to put up here and the thing is we're not going to put heavy things you're not going to have heavy things at the top of your van no that's we've got heavy go things below, that's it? why yeah. you've got the cupboards below we've got plenty of storage below so this is just going to be more lightweight but yeah. I mean that's that's tough it's not like we're going to be sitting up there we're not going to be putting Dizzy up there are we so. well Dizzy would go up there right around. he would we would quite yeah, like it up there yeah. actually Anyway, how annoying is that? We were just literally saying about these rivets and uh, trying to get that last one bolted into the wall, trying to get the cabinet on, and it just kind of got stuck and buggered up basically. So now the we had to just hacksaw it off. Basically, the bolt the bolt has just got stuck in that hole and I forced it and it's forced the rivet and the, the bolt was moving with the rivet the bolt is stuck in that hole can't get it in or out so we had to hacksaw it off yeah so you know what you live and learn it's fine that was a little bit frustrating there was a little bit of cursing going on we'll drill nice fresh holes three of them an extra one and we'll put it up that way it's absolutely fine how it's attached to the ceiling and we just need to drill the fresh holes but you know what i think we need to go back have a coffee reset and get back out of it Aha, I have control of your computer and all your information. You've got no chance. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. These hackers are getting cheeky these days. Just in the comfort of your own home, trying to use the internet and they're trying to hack your computer and steal your information. Well, thanks to NordVPN, they haven't got a chance. Now, if you've never heard of NordVPN, it's the best VPN on the market. There's lots of reasons to get a VPN. The first one being for security. It basically adds an extra layer of security to your device when you're accessing the internet and helps prevent hackers and snoopers from stealing information and accessing your details. What it does is it allows you to hide your IP address or choose an IP address from anywhere in the world. And not only does this help with security, but it also allows you to extend your viewing capabilities, your viewing library, so you can access content from anywhere in the world, wherever you are in the world. So this allows us to watch UK TV from out here in Spain. Now we don't watch much TV, but Sarah does have a guilty pleasure. And so do I. She got me hooked on EastEnders. Shh. Don't judge us, but it's a little taste of Britain when you're out here in Spain. As usual, Nord are giving a massive discount on a two-year plan, plus they're including four additional months and a bonus gift, plus there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk involved. Sign up today and keep those hackers away. Here we go, here we go. I can't believe you're wearing a t-shirt. I can't believe I'm wearing a t-shirt. It was it, sunny a second ago. It looks warmer than it is today, I tell you. Um, anyway, coffee and banana bread because today isn't really going to plan, is it? Well, it was going okay until that rivet just burst into the bracket, rivet burst, the bolt burst into the rivet and we have to pull that out. That was quite frustrating. Thank but you, darling. There is always a solution. Cheers. Overcoming challenges. Overcoming challenges and getting this damn van build done. And then retiring. How's a banana bread? It's alright. Slightly overdone to normal, but pretty nice. Life's always better after a nice coffee and a little slice of banana bread. Yeah, we're trying to perfect the banana bread in the air fryer because when we go away in the van we're gonna have the air fryer with us and obviously no oven so getting it spot on 
is a little bit of a challenge, but we will do it because we do love our banana bread and we will be having it on the road. And when we get it spot on, well, we've got the recipe spot on. This one just got a little bit overcooked. Um, and we'll share the recipe with you, along with other amazing recipes <laughs> from our little van on the road with the air fryer and a few other cooking things. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys and you can probably hear from the rain that we've got some terrible weather again today. Um, we didn't film yesterday, well we did, um, but we'll, we'll show you the footage later. It was a bit of a, it was a bad day, it was a bit of a moany day so we'll, um, we won't go into that right now. But because we had a bad day yesterday, we thought we'd cheer ourselves up today. Yes! <laughs> We've brought all our bedding down here and we've got the, the sofa all set up and it's really colourful and lovely and great and the dogs are loving it. Now Nick created a little um, miniature sofa um, stroke step up for the dogs to be able to get up here and we've just like tested that for the first time to see if they could make it up here. Um, it didn't exactly go to plan. Give her the... <laughs> oh, you might need um some practice. Here, jump. Pick him up your shoe. Over there. there. And then there. And then there. Yeah, Ready, try? Yeah. Chat. Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> they will learn. Plus, we are having another kind of step. We will make sure it's safe for them, so don't worry. Um, yeah, and look, we have our table in place. How cool is that? Now, as Nick mentioned, we did have a bad day yesterday or I mean it was all right it was good at the end of the day and it worked out okay but again we were struggling with the wind and the rain trying to do those overheads oh my goodness um Nick in particular got very very moany getting a bit crazy now I'm starting to lose the plot. Well, Dean Gordon is totally ripped in two yeah. parts now, so we can't have that because there's any wind. So the rain is just showers, like torrential rain, and then it goes to nothing. Spend half the time sheltering, trying to stop things from breaking and stop things from getting destroyed. And, and then the other half of the time complaining about it. See what happened over on that one, now we're doing this one. So every time we put it up, we're just paranoid that the, the rivet's going to mess up and we're going to have to hacksaw if we can get it out or in there. I think we were just unlucky on that rivet because this one's gone out towards the second rivet. To be fair, he was the one who was going outside and dealing with the, the weather more mm. than I was. I was kind of in here the whole time, and then you'd hear the rain and he'd run out. And try and control everything in the wind and I was just like do this do that watch the awning watch your shelf watch the tools it's very <laughs> frustrating when you're just yeah you know, trying to do work so you roll the awning out get everything out and then the rain comes and you have to get it all under cover and then you're just sort of crouching under the awning trying to shelter stop things from getting ruined with that and just some of the frustrations with you know the the little accident we had. The little accident with, with the, the overheads. overheads. But talk about the overheads. They're in place. This one is in place and it's absolutely solid. So we now have a new button at the back here with three bolts going into the wall. It was the M6 ones. They're much easier to work with. They're perfect. We were very careful putting it up and it's mega. It's mega, mega secure. We were kind of working on it quite a lot of the day in between other things. And it was like, I don't know, 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. that we finally got it up. Yes. That is absolutely solid as a rock. Ah, thing of beauty. So we talked a lot about how we made this yesterday. We weren't sure we needed to put a bracket in there. So we've just bent that bracket a little bit, put another rivet hole in there and then connected it um, to the to the unit there. It worked out brilliantly. And we figured out what we're gonna do on the back wall as well, which is a huge thing as well with that unit and this unit, because obviously at the moment, just the frame works up. So it's still looking like the van, looking half complete. So to figure out the walls, which should, be fairly simple, we'll just complete it and then just the doors. So we have put the, the backsplash, is it called black backsplash? Something like that, yeah. Back, yeah, anyway. Splash back. Splash back. <laughs> That's what it does to a backsplash. It yeah. splashes back on the yeah. backsplash. <laughs> so we, we've got like a piece of lino left over from the floor and it's kind of like the perfect Ooh, size. All the way around to there. For that, so you can picture it, it's going like that and that'll be sort of to there not up at the moment we're very happy very very happy we've just got to do this unit this we're just going to do it the same as that unit what with the bracket and everything we know what we're doing now we'll get the bed out in a minute dears okay so we also did our doors um yesterday we reupholstered the doors 
Um, I'd like to open it and show you, but it is tipping it down, but you can kind of see the carpet here. Um, yeah, that was fairly straightforward. Obviously we already had the panel in, so it's just a case of carpeting and we've done both sides, so that's all neat now. Um, I think we mentioned yesterday, we're having a window in here and then obviously we need to do the top as well. So fairly, fairly happy with how that turned out. We've got to do carpet at the top, another quickish job. Um, so it literally is just all finishing touches now. Um, yeah. Is it darling? Literally just finishing touches like just finishing off the top bit there, finishing off the carpet round there, just finishing off this little overhead. We haven't stopped well we've done that, we've got the ceiling and wall pattern. Just um, finishing touches. It's just the prick no, it is getting exciting. The more it's you exciting stuff. We the more you progress with a van build, the better it is because you see the end and you you picturing ourselves like oh, oh I did. Oh, you you trying to... out your little chair <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh in fact I don't think we've shown this have we? We we haven't shown the bed out. <laughs> Let's be trying out the We're bed. We're missing a cushion. <laughs> Found the cushion. <laughs> you like the bed? <laughs> mm. So with the two doggies on the bed, we can see perfect no flex that's holding out fine our little shelf there with brackets holding that corner okay are you ready for mummy i'm going to get on really carefully can you move a little bit sit on the slats that's me and dizzy on the slats now is it your bum's on the slats? Yeah. Maybe you could just sleep on the floor. Oh, I can sleep under there. Look at that lovely big space there. Huh? Room for Papa Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Oh, this is all right, isn't it? Oh. What was that creak? It's just a creak. Vans creak, don't they? That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Nice being higher up. Let's go down, just imagine lying down here. Sea view out of there. Yeah. Oh. It is very, very comfortable, not gonna lie. Um, okay, so we will talk about a couple of small, very, very small issues that need addressing because obviously this is this is the first time we've had it kind of set up with all of our colourful things in here. But we have had a little try out of the bed mm. we, before and uh, we do need to resolve just a small issue. There, watch out, can mummy's moving. No, no, go over that one there. Diz, go to that one there. That's it, that's it. So really happy with our big bracket. That I holds, that sound. I know, <laughs> that holds this side of the bed. That holds 200 kilograms, um, but this side, it the shelf is bending a little bit. So we put this shelf in, nice decorative shelf, two strong brackets either side. We were hoping that would take the weight. It does take the weight, but it does bend a little bit. So we don't really want that. We did buy a couple more brackets that are like reinforced kind of brackets that are stronger. So we're thinking we could switch those out, but then obviously to have a permanent shelf that sticks out too long. So not sure about that option. That's probably too far sticking out, isn't it? We've got these, which are like smaller size to that, but push out brackets. So we could have that there attached to the um, aluminium frame. The aluminium frame, by the way, is solid. It's attached to the van, what this unit's on. So that'll be fine. So you could have that there, one either side, and then obviously, you know, no shelf. How does this work? This is what was used for our table oh, yeah. before. So and obviously then you just have like that attached and a piece of wood on there and it pops out to hold the bed. We have also got another one of those really big brackets, but I think that's just overkill and you'd have to figure out how you could put it to here. We've already carpeted here. So there is options. Or the trusty pole. We could just cut this down and then that would just slot in there. You could just put a rubber foot on the bottom and um, cut a wedge in the shelf. And then when you put the bed down, that just holds that and then that ain't going anywhere. 
I think that's probably the easiest option, so we can keep it. For now, we can always change it. I love this shelf, though. Yeah. It all touches for your mobile. Oh, no, we did it all neat, didn't we? So it'd be a shame just to take that off and put big brackets. So for now, I think we'll do that. And that looks quite decorative, I think, yeah. anyway. So windows, we are getting windows put in, hopefully next week. We are actually going to get them done by professionally done because we just want to speed things up and get the van ready so we can just get back on the road. And we've never done anything like this before. So we don't want leaky windows. But what do we do? Um, do we put a sliding window or an awning style window in here? The back is going to be a small 50 by 50 or 50 by 40 by the kitchen side, awning style window, one that flips out like that. And what size? Yeah. Now we've got basically two options. We've got 96 by 45 centimeters. Which is gonna fill up the whole space there. That whole space. And obviously it's good to have a big window, you know, plenty of light, you can see the view and all that. But because our bed's quite high, is it gonna look silly if it goes right down to the bottom? It would be about the same height as the bed. Yeah. So, do we go for more of a panoramic one, which is um, 30 by 90, I think, which would still come to like here and still be, you know, pretty big. What would work better? What, what, what would you suggest, um, please? Because we're just like, ah, we're going around in circles, we don't know. And obviously, if you've got a van in a similar situation or you've had the awning or you've had both and you prefer one, please hit us in the comments and let us know. And uh, and yeah, hopefully we can make, make the right decision in the next couple of days and order the windows. Yeah, let us know how the awning windows are. I know they're very popular and they're on almost all vans. But I feel they're a bit flimsy. I haven't had any experience. I don't think I've rarely opened one, but no. yeah, let us know if you've had any issues and if you've had sliding, if you've had leaks yeah, and be all really that sort cool. of thing. Could be really cool. And also we're, we're thinking, we definitely want to get an awning on the side. Um, we're looking at the Fiamma. Fiamma? Fiamma. And if we get one, apparently the one that fits on the Ducato this size is the big one, like the 370 meter. <sighs> huge one um and it's 32 kilos in weight so mm. i was thinking oh the, the one in like vinnie's got which is the fiamma 45 is it or something yeah or the 40. smaller size it's quite good because you can just wheel it out like get it out a little bit to stop rain coming in the van yeah. which is what i like and we know it. that vinnie's has obviously just split in this terrible weather but you know <laughs> don't forget that that awning has been on that van for probably I, it's more than 20 years old 20 i mean vinnie's 33 years old I don't know if the awning was on from the start but it's been on a long time it's been and uh, many days over 40 degrees in scorching oh, sun oh it's been brilliant and rain you know? and hail and everything so let yeah. us know on your, your thoughts on that because we really do need to get the windows and the awning ordered and fitted like next week it's an it's the last biggest job on the van if you like god it's so exciting isn't it <laughs> it is so exciting can't even believe it um but anyway yeah so we'll end the vlog there um let us know in the comments what you think about the van and, and what we've talked about today and uh thanks for sticking around it's not long now before we start uh, and get our Promise. new reborn you know, we gonna... are gonna be the explorers reborn you're not gonna believe it can't wait mm. um and and yeah so please make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're not already easy to do and free and follow, follow us, us for all our other socials yeah why not even pop over to patreon if you want some extra content, extra content. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all next thursday take care guys see you next week did anyone notice that sarah's dyed her hair to be exactly the same color as charlie <gasps> it worked I dyed out it actually nick dyed my hair it did actually work out really good because look it's like dark darkish ginger on top and then with the lighter flex and it is exactly the same as my dogs and then when you look at dizzy with the kind of slightly balding grey, going quite grey. Where are you going with this? <laughs> Where are you going with this? <laughs> I'm just waiting for the white eyelashes to come. That'll come. And obviously Nick is slightly balding a little bit. And Dizzy is on his belly. Oh, you Diz.